Lisa Mabley, and this is What Would Lisa Say?, where I answer some of the most common questions that Scrum teams like to ask. And today's topic is, do I change the story points on a story that rolls over from one sprint to the next? And the answer is simply no, you do not need to do that. Remember the three parts of a story point when you're doing story point estimates are effort, complexity and risk. Don't forget about those last two pieces of a story point estimate. You may have completed some of the effort on a story, but there really is no way to know how much you have impacted the risk or complexity. And so you'll wind up spending time re-estimating a story, and that's a lot of overhead just to give yourself sort of a false sense of security that your story point estimate is going to be more accurate. Remember, story points are good for planning your sprints. Really past that, there's no reason to make them more complicated or to agonize over them for more than doing just that. So naturally your next question is gonna be, well, doesn't that completely mess up our velocity and our planning if we're rolling story points over? And yes, it will briefly. And it's one of the reasons that we don't want stories to roll over from sprint to sprint. But if you think about it, say you have a five story point story that started in one sprint and is now going to be rolled into the next sprint. So, and let's just say your average velocity is 30. Well, maybe then you don't get your 30 story points in the first sprint where you started the work and you're only at 25 because all five story points are rolling over. Think of that as a rollover tax, if you will. And then the next sprint, you're going to wind up having slightly more story points completed because a lot of the work may have already been done on that, that story that rolled in. And so your, the sprint that it rolls into is going to have a slightly higher story point um, velocity. And so if you think about it in the long term, when you average those things out, the average is the same. It's five less in one sprint, but then it's five more in the next sprint. And so on average between those two sprints, that velocity stays the same. Now here's where it gets tricky. I want you to think about why are we rolling these stories over? This is going to be a very important problem for your scrum team to tackle because in agility, what we need is predictability. And when you are rolling over stories from sprint to sprint to sprint, you are losing out on that predictability. And as you know, when you've got bunches of stuff coming from a previous sprint, it's really hard to plan the next sprint with any kind of accuracy because you just have no idea what's out there and what's open and what's hanging around and left to do. So ask yourselves in retro or in planning or whatever makes sense for your team, why do these things keep rolling over? The Biggest possibility is you're really bad at estimating, but that's okay, don't worry about it. Just practice and talk about it and figure out why these things are not getting the estimates that represent um, the actual story points for this work. Effort, complexity, and risk. Don't forget those two. Sometimes that makes a big difference. The second thing is maybe the stories are just too big. We harp a lot in agility about breaking down stories smaller and smaller, and partly this is why. We want them nice and small so that you can get them through dev and complete in QA within the space of a sprint so they don't keep rolling over. And you will find when you have nice small stories and you complete everything in a sprint, and then you're able to plan your next sprint with brand new stories that are all nice and small, that your planning is going to go much more quickly. And it's also going to allow your teams to have the kind of predictability that they need. And that is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg on rolling these stories over and fixing that problem. But just to re repeat, you don't need to change the story point estimate when you roll something from a sprint to, ne to the next. It's not worth it. Spend that time figuring out why they're rolling over and less time trying to figure out what the new story point estimate is. So that's all I have for today. Have a wonderful day and we will talk to you very soon.